I led a bicameral letter to you in April expressing serious concerns with the recent FDA recent decision to not enforce the risk evaluation and mitigation strategy for uh, mithis mithiprostone, am I saying that right? The chemical abortion drug for the remainder of the public health emergency. And the FDA decision is alarming because this drug is dangerous. The limited data we do have shows unacceptable rates of complication for women and girls. Specifically, more than 20% of reported complications were life-threatening or resulted in death. And over 70% of reported complications required follow-up surgeries, including total hysterectomies. I'm particularly struck by the inconsistency of the FDA's actions. For instance, the FDA and CDC imposed a pause on the Johnson & Johnson COVID vaccine after reports of blood clots in some women. At the same time, FDA is expanding the approval for chemical abortion pills that have much, much higher risk of blood clots than the J&J &J vaccine. Your response to my letter, which I received just this morning a few hours ago, states that FDA will be undertaking a further view of the issue. In my letter to you, I encourage you to mandate the collection of complete and accurate information on all adverse events related to this drug. And uh, will you commit to requiring this data be collected so that FDA has complete data for its review for this abortion pill? Well, I can certainly, we, I will have to look at the conditions of the REMS as far as which event, all serious events need to be reported to the FDA. So um, let me look into that. But um, it may well be that if a person has a headache after, uh, you know, a, using this drug, that that may not have to be reported because it's a you know, non-serious, self-limited event. 20%, though, you know, that's pretty serious for the life-threatening or resulted in death. And I'm going to follow up with you to provide some studies on the adverse events that I would like to ensure the FDA reviews. Uh, Chair Baldwin, I'd also like to ask consent to include those studies in the record for this hearing. Thank you.